take a walk around Hastings and it's easy to find people worried about their jobs. I've lived here for a long time and I've never known it to be so bad. I mean, I moved here from Scotland and I think I've seen it really take a bit of a nosedive in terms of, you know, prosperity. I've got two teenage daughters and I think, you know, they, I, I worry for them and I don't know if they'll stay here. I mean, every day you worry about your job, don't you? It's, it's one of those things with cuts going in the education and you do worry, but what do you do? I hope so my job is safe. Obviously, if there's no funders for the courses, then there's no parents doing the courses and there's no children coming to the crash so I am worried about that because then that means that I don't have a job. 43% of people in Hastings work in the public sector but for a while now the jobs have been drying up. It's already started even though the you know the talks are being done today it's already you know I've got people in Hastings coming in um, asking for jobs. Behind the polythene sheeting stands the new offices of a company on which Hastings is now pinning its hopes. We're cheered by the fact we've been able to attract Saga here, a major private sector employer, bring 800 jobs to town, as to bring in another 200 jobs to town. So we'll, that, that'll have some effect in mitigating, we hope, the impact of any public sector job losses. It's hoped then these cuts could wean Hastings off its reliance on the public sector, giving private business a chance to grow, boosting wages and prospects and putting more jobs in the shop window.